Yep. Let me get the other evolution. <laughs> What's going on everyone? Emroy here. Slightly different video today. Uh, if you're watching this intro, that means I'm still traveling. Not nowhere near LA and no so on and so forth. Anyways, slightly different video today. I uh, just all focused on the music video, so I hope you guys enjoy. If it's your first time here, just to give you guys a little bit of the credits, I've been dancing for over 20 years, choreographing, teaching, and director for over 15. I helped co-found a competitive dance crew called Family Business back in 2004, worked with companies such as Culture Shock, Moving Out and Up Productions, and many other things. And I'm also the director and founder of an uh, entertainment hip-hop company called Temper Tantrum. Make sure you go, go check them out. I, at this point, we've been they've been releasing their own reaction video, so if you guys want to check that out, please do. And uh, no format, no no three phase reactions is just me reacting to the video of something that I've already watched and if you want to watch the original full reaction of whatever I'm watching today because I'm gonna to try to keep this very general what do you call it just feel free it's gonna be the link down in the description to watch the rehearsal and the performance if it was allowed on YouTube but with that I appreciate you being here enjoy the video and I'll see you guys later Oh no, is this after the revolution? No. Oh. Oh. I feel like this is the beginning of the revolution. Yo, these masks. That should be that should be the first their first. Oh yeah, these outfits, man, are sick. The warehouse. Oh, this definitely feels like the beginning of a revolution of the revolution, like the prequel. Those chains though, man. Damn, they going, going hard, man. Ah, yeah. Oh, there's more guys in the back now. Oh, okay, I got- I slightly confused myself, like, <laughs> with the food that formation. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, they're definitely- like, I love the wide lens on this. It, it, the scale that it's giving is, like, you feel, really feel like this warehouse is huge, like, it's a- and this- I feel like I'm, this is the first time hearing the song. This is, I, I love how I love how that sound in my sounds in my earballs right now. It's like the little wham wham wham. <laughs> yeah, this is like like I said it earlier, like the beginning of the revolution, and this is their base. Here is where we will start the revolution. Man, what is this, like a, a 14? 14 millimeter? God, that march with this lens is, makes it look fucking ginormous. Whoa! I love the... Yep. I love the, the color right now. Everything was feeling mono... Monochrome? And that nice red. Yep. The beginning of the revolution. <laughs> I 
They no longer need to hide themselves. Oh, yeah. I'm kind of having a feeling of like it's Bane's henchman from like. Oh. Okay. Just kidding. This is uh, a uh, member of the Joker's crew. <laughs> that was great. I almost feel like I should have watched this one because I always thought because this was definitely different from the typical music videos that I've seen is like there's always the moment of you know of just focusing on the artist singing a lot of solo moments of them performing uh, which is great because that's obviously what they need to do um, but for this it was just nice to see a lot of different versions and different lenses and uh, cuts of the choreography and I got to see it in a whole new different light because the other one I think they're in a room from Phasmophobia I know it's not actually Phasmophobia, but it definitely had the haunted feel. I feel like this one could be a level in Phasmophobia as well. If you guys don't know what that is, YouTube or anyone else, Phasmophobia is a video game. So yeah, it definitely had that haunted kind of uh, rundown building feel. What I liked about the other ones is that you can see their face and you can see their facial expressions. And this one, what I love is how uh, I'd say out there more uh, the concept is and also the the outfits. Because so Dancing with Chains, uh, thankfully, like they had the masks. Um, I don't know what the masks are made of, but dancing with any of that, like chains in general, like jewelry is a pain in the ass. Like with fucking, I used to dance with a necklace, it fucking hit me in the face. I used to dance with rings. I used to wear five rings on all my fingers. Then it hurts to do any breaking with them or break dancing for those of you because it pinches the skin right here. So I stopped wearing jewelry altogether because it was just a pain in the ass when I was dancing with it. Uh, the only way I would be able to really comfortably wear jewelry is if I actually pin, uh, put a safety pin. But, you know, but the outfits for this are crazy. Also dancing with the hats too. So that's kind of a pain in the ass because it's like, if they fuck up on the take, because the hat falls off on the take, they're gonna have to do it again. So that is it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let's move on to the next video. So that's it, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit like, subscribe, share this with friends who you think might enjoy it. And if you guys want more reaction videos like this, things like Road to Kingdom or a new experimental format that I'm going to be putting out. Make sure to hop onto the Patreon. A lot of the stuff comes out like at least a month or two early there. Along with that, make sure to check out my social media company's channel, my dance company's channel, and my vlog channel. I have a whole bunch of stuff that, I'm, that I am involved in. And uh, yeah, w with that, I will see you guys in the next video. I appreciate you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this. See you guys next time. Peace.